on this part two of this silent genocide that has occurred. It definitely has occurred. It has happened. You know, you guys just haven't been paying attention. You know, when you lose thousands of people, like say say we say the trees just start falling. You know, a, a bunch of dogs start dying. Certain dogs start dying. Certain trees start falling and dying. It's going to be a federal investigation. It's going to be a, a research panel to find out, okay, what's happening. It's going to be the health and, uh, department is going to be notified. Scientists, you know, the government is going to take proactive steps. Trust me with these um, trees and with these dogs. But with the American people, these Africans in America seem to be mute, silent. All right. Seem to be silent, man. You know? Why is that? Nobody, you know, I know why it is. I watched a video of this old white lady um, giving her reaction to a public lynching. I said, I think I said that before. I told you guys about that. But anyway, the the look on her face as she was explaining how the, how the black guy died, you know, thousands of people lynched this guy, tore him apart. She was like, and he died. And she was happy about that. She, her heart felt good. She was like, we killed that nigga. So stop thinking that these racists give a fuck, you know. That's why it's been a genocide in the first place, you know. Um, psychological warfare, chemical warfare, biological warfare. You know, look at the first video. We talked about that, man. Um, educate lack um, the lack of education. That's invisible violence, man. That's invisible violence. You put you segregate a population of people like that, and then most American cities, the black neighborhoods and then the white neighborhoods, was sometimes most of the, all the time is took a, is way um, have way more resources and um, collaboration with the, with the um, government than our um, communities. Um, the white um, communities always, you know, they got they got a lot, a lot of be better services. Is we separate, you know, they separate us, and you know, the resources on the other side of town, but they have a prejudice over there, you know. So they say people don't leave uh, for their neighborhoods because a lot a lot of people don't want to confront that prejudice when they leave in to other areas. They don't know what to expect. The the urban legends is niggas getting hanged, niggas getting killed. Now it's, you know, killed by the police. Shit, we might be riding down a street in some middle of America and get pulled over. Niggas going to be, man, we got to be on super alert, you know? And then, you know, these guys, they they racist. So they disrespectful. They're going to treat you less than human when these motherfuckers work for you. you if you're a taxpaying person, period. If you're an American citizen, these are our public servants. When he come treat you like he's your fucking um, father. Or um, or um, not, not your father because there's no love in it. Like he's a fucking master over you, you know? And that's what we think about that. Like, I, you know... Uh, who the fuck are you talking to? So that can escalate to you getting killed. That's put, keeping that nigga in his place. So you, you kill the buck and right there decisively. And everybody else will take heed to what just happened. You know? But, you know, we got a lot. Nowadays, we got a lot of um, Nat Turner's, two Sunday Overtures, and um, Gabrielle Process. You know, Huey P. Newton's, George Jackson's, you know. So, 
that shit don't fly too much. But yeah, the genocide has occurred, man. It's already happened. And it's the the re residual effect is going down right now. You know, with this gangster mentality, this gangster lifestyle. That is the effects of the genocide. You know? Because there was no guidance. You, we burned down the libraries. They say an old person and his knowledge is a library. We beat the dolphins up. We destroyed their minds, selling them drugs. We were agents against our own people in the genocide. You know, and, and they'd bring this shit up. They won't charge Oliver North and Ronald Reagan and um, Bush and them. They'd charge the niggas that was on the victims of their greed. You know, it's genocide has happened, man. You know, it has been a silent genocide in America from the 80s until now. And they put puppets at the head of the government to distract us. Clowns. Look at Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was the first actor, you know. He was an actor, you know, and everybody liked him. He was just like Donald Trump. Everybody liked him. He was an actor, a great American actor. And he was just like Donald Trump, had popularity. Conservative, white, Christian, white Christian values. You know, white Christian values is a lot different <laughs> than world Christian values, you know. White Christian values is fucking KKK. That's what that is. You know, this country was built on the Ku Klux Klan. Woodrow Wilson was the biggest Klansman in the office. Well, I wouldn't say that because they all, all Klansmen is big Klansmen. <laughs> and we had a lot of Klansmen at, at, at the helm of the office. You know, white supremacists. So, that's when that shit first started with Reagan. And they, not only did they commit genocide on us, they commit genocide on the world. The Arabs. They, they wiped out Gaddafi, Mo, um, Yasser Arafat, um, the Palestinians, um, Saddam Hussein. Um, they were... They, they they wiped that they wiped them they wiped them folks out man you know you know so it's all been a, a, a warfare for the resources of the world that's why Trump and Vladimir Putin is in bed together because of energy Putin and the Russians have big energy companies that's why they're going after Greenland. That's why they're trying to drill these. That's why the regulations of um, fracking and or you know drilling, they, Donald Trump have uh, eased those regulations decisively, and it's a, they're looking for the energy. Too many people in the world. You got some. You got some ideologies that um, operate off lessening the population. And some ideologies that that offer that operate on socializing, you know, bringing us together. Well, a lot of these white supremacists, they so greedy and retarded that they want everything for themselves, you know, and they feel threatened, you know. And then another thing, they 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 feel threatened about from these strong Africans that they've been trying to kill that won't die, you know. You know, and, and and Donald, I mean Barack Obama going into the presidency was a trigger, a alarm for them. So that's when they got really progressive, and that's why we got two hundred some plus, two hundred plus mass shootings in the United States today. That is a revolution. That's 
that's the, the white supremacists fighting to keep us in compromised positions and vulnerable positions, fighting to keep us from having our rights, from living life, limb, and liberty, fighting us. They want to kill us. Now it's the, the genocide has, has, has came to the top. At first it was underground. Now it, it's above ground. You know, they know they're they, they just going crazy now. So, for you to be in a lifestyle where you're not aware as a black person, a young man, a black man, a woman, sister, brother, for you to be in the mindset where your enemy looks just like you is a black person in America, you're with them. You know, you are an agent for those who want to kill our kids and our, our lineage, our heritage, our race. You know, you're helping them. You know, because we have much more work to do to protect ourselves, just to protect ourselves. You know, protect the future for our kids, our grandkids. You know, it's just, you, we can't be selfish. That's one thing about the white supremacist. He thinks about the future. We have to think about our future. You know, it's crazy, man. It's been a genocide. And if you don't see it, just go look it up, man. Go look up. Just go look up. The, the the crack crack epidemic what happened you look at the crime what's what's going on now you look at the culture now our children are programmed to kill each other like they are handling crime business in the streets which they are not doing no kind of business it's all for show and entertainment now to kill an African because these are unstable people who have experienced trauma and have developed mental health conditions that they haven't identified, that they don't know they have, and that has been trained to commit suicide and kill themselves. Because you ain't shit anyway. You're just a nigga, a savage. You know, you don't feel good about yourself, so fuck it, freaky dicky. We got to stop this shit, man. Identify. So the purpose of this video, man, was to identify what's going on with us. We have been through warfare. Part of it has this warfare has contributed to a silent, sterile genocide, which we have offset the balance of our families. And that's what this ne my next video is going to be about, building our families. Because that's how this, we, we've been affected, but we're going to fight back. So that, it's offset the balance of our families, which produces a healthy growth from the base of your existence and supports you in your development in the world and in life. So we have to repair our family structure. And the genocide has us not giving a fuck about each other at all. We don't fuck a nigga. Fuck a bitch. You sell your sister. You kill your brother for the smallest reason. You can't communicate. You don't have the temperament and emotional intelligence and the honor to seek higher ground. 
You vibrate low. You're scared. You're scared to be a man. You're scared to go out there and get a job. You think getting a job is weak. No, you get a job. But eventually you can start your own business. You should be starting your own business. We should be selling ourselves food. We shouldn't have to go to the disrespectful Arab, the disrespectful Asian, the disrespectful Pecklewood. We shouldn't have, not, not, excuse me, white person. No, the disrespectful one is a Pecklewood. Excuse my language. So, you shouldn't have to go to them and get our shit. We should be getting our shit from each other. So I say, if you got money and you want to start your business, start your business. And offer your your, your shit, what you, whatever, you, whatever you got, your merchandise. And the people better, you know, if, if we want to create something better for ourselves, we better do it ourselves. Don't depend on nobody else to do nothing for us because they want you dead. They want you out of here. Get your ass back to Africa. Or just get the fuck out of here. They don't give a fuck about your feelings, your children, or nothing. So, stop begging these people. And take care of ourselves, man. You know, it's been a genocide. The genocide has created... A, um. Uh, uh, suicidal agents within our community. Let's fix that, man. You know, you be men, man. Be generals. Be soldiers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that fake shit. You know? So let's come together, man. I'm gone. Y'all have a blessed day. Um, please, if you like this video, subscribe. Like it. Um, if, you know, give me a comment. Give me some um, critique, you know. I'm not. I, I appreciate um, all kind of inf information and and feedback. I'm not too um, arrogant, and I'm very patient, and I'm just trying to develop into the best human being I could be. But if you like this video, subscribe and give me some feedback, man. And uh, I'm gonna come at you on the next one. We're gonna talk about how we come back this genocide that just happened to our people, man. And it's real. Research it. If you don't believe me, ask some of the elders. Ask some of your older brothers and sisters. You know, think about it. Remember what's, what, what's been happening to us. And understand that we have been in the genocide. Uh, um, sterile, sterile, um, secret, undercover genocide. That's what happened to us, man. So, let's fight back. And stand back up, you know, because there's a lot of successful, beautiful black people out there that's doing a lot of good stuff. But, you know, overall, we got to really look at it because we got some our people in the streets that's hurting. And we need to help them. God bless you. See you later. Next video, the black family. Re rebuilding the black family. God bless you.